Begun. The famous golden royal city in today's Myanmar is full of myth and legend. In the days of the legendary Burman monarchy, the metropolis covered an area of 40 square kilometers. Today, the numerous majestic buildings of Bergam provide an unforgettable insight into its history. However, the significance that these buildings once had for the city's former inhabitants is a mystery. The city's early history is not fully known. Records of the existence of Began began only in 849 AD. But the most recent archaeological research indicates that this area had been settled in much earlier by the Pew, an ancient tribe that originated in Middle Asia and the high plateau of the Tibetan Burman. Began is said to date back to ancient times, but no one really knows, and perhaps never will. The royal city was first mentioned in the ancient text of a Chinese legation at the beginning of the 11th century. The development of the city was not only influenced by logical planning, Began was designed according to religious and mystical ideals, and it was eventually built to reflect the structure of the Buddhist cosmos. The impressive temple complexes were designed to be a paradise on earth, a place that lay between earth and the realm of the gods.
course of time, the deeper significance that related to the philosophical order of the metropolis became apparent. The former inhabitants of Began divided their city into nine sections. They believed that this number had a magical meaning. The eight outer sections symbolized, among other things, the eight planets that were known to the Buddhist religion at that time. section was reserved for Gautama Buddha, the founder of the Buddhist religion. To summon the favor of their gods, the former monarchs of Began spared no effort or expense. Even today, the splendor of the buildings, many of which are gilded, is quite magnificent. Was it possible for the kings of that time to create one of the largest and most impressive metropolises of the Middle Ages in such a short space of time? The city's main high season began with the accession to the throne of the legendary regent Anurata in 1044. The new Buddhist monarch had first to dispose of the snake cult, a belief that had many followers.
Under King Anurata and his son and successor Kayanzita, Theravada Buddhism developed into an instrument of political power. It soon replaced various ancient magical cults. Thus Buddhism became the new and omnipresent center of religious life. As the first Burmese kingdom expanded, the former territories of the Mon tribe were gradually conquered. The Mon were also known for their highly developed skills as craftsmen. However, militarily, the Mon tribe proved to be inferior to the rising realm of Began. The Burmese troops captured not only many precious cultural and religious treasures, but also more than 30,000 prisoners from the capital of Mon Teton. Almost the entire spiritual elite of the Mon were brought back to Began. Thank you. 
captured monks, scholars, master builders, blacksmiths and stonemasons soon determined the character of the Burmese capital. Moreover, the sacred works of art at that time increased the influence and importance of Begaan. Everywhere, new and ever more precious temples and statues were built. Centuries-old sanctuaries are, even today, an ideal place of contemplation. Indeed, Buddha once stated that meditation was essential. To practice meditation is to sink to the bottom of one's soul in order to gain a better understanding or to communicate with spiritual beings. the influence of the Buddhist religion was is demonstrated by taking a closer look at this remarkable city. During its high season, Begaan had around 5,000 stupas and grotto temples, of which today about 2,000 have survived, half of them in amazingly good condition. The continuous number of new sanctuaries was due to the religious belief of the people. The former monarchs of the legendary realm of Begaan attempted to emulate Buddhist ideals with a constant supply of gifts, because in Buddhist belief the monarchy was legitimized by the gods themselves.
However, the construction of various fine sanctuaries alone was not enough to strengthen the king's power. Also, the organization of the royal household had to be done according to certain well-defined numerals in order to create a connection with the heavenly spheres. Despite the efforts of the monarchy to satisfy the divine forces, the economic and cultural high season of Began survived for only a few centuries. By the end of the 13th century, several politically incompetent kings had run down the realm's economy. In 1287, the city was destroyed by the Mongol hordes. The city's temple ruins and sanctuaries are still worshipped in today and have a mystical appeal. Although archaeologists and historians have revealed much of the history of this fascinating metropolis, it's likely that part of the splendid history of Began will remain a mystery forever. <laughs>